Of stickers, Moby. You definitely have more than me. How can you compare numbers? It's the perfect day to go apple picking, right, Moby? I've picked seven apples so far. How about you? So you've picked five. And I picked seven. On a number line, seven comes after five. That means seven is greater than five. So I picked more apples than you. How many apples do you have now, Moby? You picked thirteen apples. Hmm. The number thirteen comes after seven on a hundred chart. That means thirteen is greater than seven. It also means that seven is less than thirteen. So now you have more apples, Moby. How do you compare bigger numbers? Mia picked twenty apples. Who has more, you or Mia? When you compare bigger numbers, you should compare the numbers in the highest place value first. You have one ten and three ones, but Mia has two tens and zero ones. So Mia picked more apples than you. Whoa, Moby! Hmm, who has more apples now? Moby, you picked three hundred twenty-four apples. The farmer has three hundred eighty-nine apples. We need to look at the largest place value first. Since you both have three hundreds, we need to compare the numbers in the tens place next. You have two tens, but the farmer has eight tens. So the farmer has more apples than you. I don't think there are any apples left. How do you use symbols to compare numbers? There are plenty of pumpkins to pick. You can write a number sentence to compare numbers. Cool. You picked sixteen pumpkins. That's more than Grandpa. This is the greater than sign. In a number sentence, the wider part faces the bigger number. Sixteen is greater than ten. This is the less than sign. In a number sentence, the corner points to the smaller number. So we say ten is less than sixteen. Don't worry, you can make a picture in your mind to help remember the signs. I like to think of the symbol as an alligator. The alligator is hungry, so it always eats the bigger number. Mia has six pumpkins, and she's adding them to Grandpop's basket. Hmm. That means Grandpa and Mia have sixteen pumpkins. That's the same number as you, Moby. This is the equal sign. Both baskets have an equal number of pumpkins. The symbol shows that both sides of the equation equal the same amount. Anyway, Moby, I think I finally collected more stickers than you. Hey.